Hey, 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 what's going on? Oliver Carlin here, and I'm coming at you from my car once again on my lunch break, like always. <laughs> and guess what? Today I got a real special treat for you. Um, I'm going to be telling you a shocking secret of why the fat get fatter and the skinny stay skinny. Now think about this. I want you to think about this for a second, okay? And you know what I mean. Have you ever noticed, right, that skinny people are always freaking skinny, right? And then fat people seem like they always get fatter. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Or why is it that skinny person that all of a sudden starts to get fat, gets fatter and fatter and fatter. It's not like you just put on a couple little, a little bit of chub. It's like when the chub starts coming, it keeps coming, okay? People like to blame it on, oh, I've got a hormonal imbalance in my thyroid, or I've got a, um, uh, what else? <laughs> what else do they complain about? Oh, my genetics, I'm genetically just fat person. Everyone in my family's fat. Sorry to say, you're not gonna be able to hide behind that anymore. Not after today, baby. So I'm gonna tell you a little story, all right? When I was young, and I was a kid and I was growing up, I remember this one girl. Um, I, you know, I grew up in the foothills um, of uh, North Northern Cali. Uh, Cowtown, a lot of uh, we called them hicks, if you will, but like cowboys. A um, lot of land, na not too many neighbors around. You walk to school. I walked to elementary school, and I freaking walked to freaking middle school. Middle school was like two miles, and it was in the country. But anyway, that's where I grew up. And I remember this one girl. Um, she was really, really attractive. Very, very. Nice body build, um, low body fat percentage. You know, she was lean. And, um, you know, we were friends. I knew her. And as she got older, as time went on, she got, um, she got um, pregnant, right? I think around like 19 or something. And um, she got pregnant. But when she got pregnant, she put on a lot of body fat, a ton of body fat. And... Man, I mean, she was very, very big. And I thought, well, she's just pregnant, right? Well, then she had the kid, and the body fat stayed there. She never lost the body fat. Like, it stuck around. And I was... Sorry about that. I lost you for a second. My phone... I'm in a bad connection spot, I guess. My phone just flashed and went black instead of just trying to reconnect, find a better location. I hope it doesn't keep doing that. Um... But, where was I? So the, um, oh, so she got, she put on all this extra body fat and it wouldn't come off, right? And so I was thinking, well, what the hell? Um, why is that? Why is, it's not like she was eating differently than she was before, but this fat was sticking around and she was actually getting fatter. And I was thinking, wow, why is that? And it's confusing. It was like, well, is it maybe her thyroid's jacked up? Maybe her metabolism slowed way down. And um, um, man, maybe it's just the way she is. I don't know. Like, wow, it happened overnight, and now she's very large, and um, it's not coming off. Now, I must. I want you to think about this, you know, for a second, like. I'm sure that's a common story, you know, I, I hear about that a lot, how people will, you know, no one was born really fat, right, we came out of the baby the, the same size, some of us got fatter, okay, I get that, younger, but a lot of, uh, a lot of people started out um, at a decent body fat percentage throughout school, and then as they got older, they put on this body fat, and I, I had this question the other day, like, well, you know, why is it when I get older I put on body fat? And um, and so some people might blame it behind their age. Why is it when I get older I put on my body fat, right? I, when I was young, I looked good, but when I got older, 
I didn't. I got a lot of fat. And then I got fatter and fatter. So for me, okay, I was, it made me think like, well, you know, I wonder if there's a link. There's got to be something else there. Because this girl I knew, you know, why would she still be overweight? I wonder if there's something else that's causing this person to keep the fat on because they used to look lean and they used to look good. I I wonder if there's a link between having all this extra body fat is causing her to keep the body fat or something, you know, like that. So anyway, I, um, I got into nutrition and bodybuilding and all that stuff later on in my life, right? And it was actually a few years ago now. Um, I was going through a bodybuilding course, right? And this is another one of those things where I feel like people that are just overweight, that aren't into bodybuilding, but they're just overweight, they don't get a lot of the good information. Like bodybuilders get all the good information, which is why I didn't want to help bodybuilders because they, they get all the good information. I wanted to transfer, like move, remove this gap from the bodybuilding world to the normal people Because the information is amazing, right? But anyway, that's not what I want to talk to you about. But I just want you to know that bodybuilders get a lot of good info, right? So anyway, I was um, I was going through this bodybuilding course, and that's when I one of the things with bodybuilders, right, was testosterone, right? Um, It's really big deal. Like if you know anything about bodybuilding, even if you don't, you've probably heard of steroids. And bodybuilders, they just shoot up steroids. Well, what is steroids? It's freaking testosterone at extremely high levels. Like, way, way high. Like, it, let's just say if your body's at a 10, like, your body maintains, like, a level 5 normally. And, any like, one point above that 6 would be dramatic. Well, bodybuilder would take in, like, a level 50 in an injection. Insane amount of testosterone. And that's what helped to build these enormous muscles, Right? So there's in the bodybuilding world, there's always this talk of testosterone. How do I build more testosterone naturally? And so testosterone is well, well researched in the bodybuilding world, okay? And I was looking up some um, clinical studies, right, on the bodybuilding and testosterone. And I was thinking, hmm, I wonder, you know, they, they, there's all this talk about, I wonder if testosterone has anything to do with fat loss, right? So I... I uh, found this clinical study. I, f- I wrote it down, but I forgot to bring the paper out with me. It's still in my office. But on this paper, well, <laughs> on the paper I wrote the, the name of the, the, the clinical study. You could look it up. But um, what the clinical study was, was it was a research done on 400 obese men that they evaluated over a six-year period that had low testosterone. And they put them on testosterone replacement therapy. And guess what? Their body fat went down, 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 down. Continued to go down significantly over six years. It just, they didn't change anything else in their life. They just had more testosterone and their body fat percentage went down. So it was proven. It's been proven in other sources as well that testosterone is linked to body fat. Um, Having, just having more testosterone in your body actually burns body fat naturally. True. Proven. Okay? Now, women are thinking right now, they're like, this this asshole, I don't care about testosterone. I'm a woman. Well, women have testosterone too. Okay? Sorry to say, but you do. And men have estrogen. Okay? So don't think you're special just because you're a woman. You just have less of it. And men have less estrogen than you. Okay? But we both have the same chemicals. We're both human. The same reason that we build body fat and build muscle or burn it is the same thing. Why do you think women have more body fat naturally than men? I'm in the Navy. Okay? When I measure women's body fat and when I measure men's body fat, women are allowed a lot more body fat than men. Why? Why would a woman be allowed more body fat than a man. Aren't we all equal in the Navy? Because your bodies are different, right? Why are they different? Men have more testosterone. Women have more estrogen. What we found, what I ended up finding after doing some research, right, was 
that women, or not, not women, but estrogen, I'm going to get a little technical here, but then I'm going to make it simple, okay? So bear with me, okay? Women, I keep saying women, fat, <laughs> when you build fat, okay, well, no, no, estrogen, right? Estrogen. Estrogen is produced through a woman's ovaries. That's not a surprise, right? Okay, we know that. But it's also produced through body fat. Holy crap. No shit. It's produced through body fat? Wow. What does that mean? So, there's this thing inside of the body fat called aromatase. You don't need to understand this too much. Just bear with me. Aromatase is inside body fat. What it does is it takes an androgen and turns it into estrogen. Androgen is testosterone. So basically, body fat converts testosterone into estrogen. That means that the more body fat you have, your body is producing more estrogen and lowering your testosterone. And women have testosterone. Why do you think when women shoot up to steroids, they look like men? Women can still look good and still be lean. You're not going to be as lean as a man. Like, okay, I'm 7% body fat. A woman naturally is around like 15% body fat, 14 or something like that, percent. That's low for a woman. Holy shit low. Whereas 7% is low for a man, right? So what I'm trying to explain here is um, you have testosterone, okay? Testosterone is responsible, big part of it is responsible for lowering your body fat percentage. So now, what does this mean? I wanted to get to my point. So it's like a snowball, baby. Think of a snowball rolling down a hill. As it rolls down the hill, it gathers more and more snow and more and more snow and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it gets down to the bottom of the mountain, right? It's kind of what's happening with your body fat, right? So every pound of body fat that you're adding to your body, you're making it, you're like producing this thing in your body that's producing more body fat. So as you get more and more, you're actually enabling your body to produce more and more. And so as you get more and more, your body gets easier to produce more and more and more and more and more and more. It's like a freaking spiral, a freaking out of control cycle, whatever, crazy thing that's going on inside your body that once it starts, you're screwed. You know, in the bodybuilding world, we're like, holy shit, do never let your body fat get above like, 15%. That's like the max. After that estrogen gets out of freaking control, right? Once estrogen aromatase starts going out of control, your testosterone is dropped dramatically and it's really hard to recover and get back on track from that, right? I was like, holy shit, this is what happened to her. She put on all this extra body fat, ton of it, when she got pregnant. Now her body is like not producing any testosterone at all. Well, it is, but her body, this new body that she's created is taking that testosterone and just demolishing it and squirting it out into estrogen. So basically, her body is not producing estrogen, essentially, which was causing her to look good and have that lean body when she was younger. Bam, baby. Bam. How about that? Blow your mind, baby. Boom. How about that? That's insane to me. So why do skinny people stay skinny? It's the exact opposite. We're loaded with zero body fat. Why do you think I like staying 7% body fat? Because my body's primed for freaking fat loss. So easy. So here's what I want you to know. If you're in this situation and you've got a lot, a lot, a lot of excess body fat, just understand, you like, um, just imagine you've got this big boulder sitting in front of you, 
hand when you're trying to push this boulder to move it and it's not budging, right? But what's cool about the boulder is once you finally get it rolling and it starts rolling, it's easier to keep it rolling. And as it builds up momentum, it gets even easier and it starts rolling kind of smooth now and you're barely putting any effort in. You're just kind of keeping it going. But that initial push takes a lot of effort, right? To get that boulder actually starting to move. So if you go over to my website and sign up for the internalized, get on this uh, waiting list for the internalized weight loss course that's coming out really soon. I'm going to help you get that boulder rolling. I'm going to make sure that boulder gets rolling for you in the right way, in the least amount of effort. And we're going to be there to help you because if you're really overweight, guess what? It's you're going to finally get the body of your dreams. You're finally going to get all that body fat off. And it's going to be easier. It's going to get easier and easier and easier as the fat starts coming off. And guess what? You can stop blaming yourself. Stop feeling like you're a failure. Like you, there's something wrong with you. Or you've got some kind of problem because the fat's not coming off. No. You're just taking advice from people that aren't in your situation. Okay? They don't have all that extra body fat. So they've never had to get that boulder moving in the right direction, okay? That's why you haven't been able to really find your your um, your success yet. So you can, if you get on this course, get on this eight-week journey with me, and we'll get you there, okay? That's all I have for today. If you thought this was useful, please share it. I would appreciate that, and I hope someone else can benefit from it as well. Other than that, take care, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.